Hey guys, Marissa at KitchenTableStamper.com. I am going to show you today how to make these adorable little Hershey Nugget mailboxes. Isn't this cute? Okay, let me show you. So here's our little mailbox flag. Inside there's Hershey's Nuggets, sides open. Back is closed. Isn't that the cutest thing you've ever seen? Okay, let's get started here. Let me first um, go through the paper and the measurements that you need. There will be a printable um, PDF with all the measurements and supply listed on my blog, kitchentablestamper.com. Okay, so cardstock pieces that make the base of your mailbox. You'll need one that is one inch by three and a half and one piece that is one and three eighths by three and three eighths. You'll also need a piece of designer series paper of your choice. I um, picked this pretty pattern from Pop of Pink. It's one inch by four and a half. You'll need a tiny little scrap of Melon Mambo for punching the heart and a piece for the flag. This is one inch by two inches. You'll need eight inches of um, Baker's Twine. I've got basic black and white Baker's Twine here. For the tag element, you'll need a um, scrap of basic black that's about one and a half by two. You'll need a scrap of Whisper White that's about one and a half by two, and then a scrap of Whisper White that's about one by two. Okay. You'll also need two Hershey's Nugget candies, and I have a little piece of tear and tape on one of these. I'm going to adhere those two together, and I got a little bit of sticky strip here, and I'm going to just wrap around these two candies, like so. You could also use Stampin' Up! Tear and Tape for this. All right, so set those guys aside. Now, to make these sweet little mailboxes, I used a couple of Stampin' Up! bundles. Let me show you. I've got the Ready to Pop and Popcorn Box Thinlets. We're going to use the Circle die from the Popcorn Box and the From Me To You sentiment from Ready To Pop. I've also got Stampin' Up! Stilled With Love bundle. This is brand new in the Occasions catalog. We're going to use the heart die and the heart images from this stamp set. And then last I've got the layering circles. Love this die set. We're going to take that smallest little one. The first thing we want to do is take this one by three and a half inch piece and we want to use a half inch corner rounder and round the corners. Once we've got all four corners rounded, then we're going to need to bring in our Simply Scored and I am going to score this at one inch and I'm going to score it at two and three eighths. And then while I'm in here, I'm going to take the um, top of my mailbox, top and sides. This is one and three eighths by three and three eighths, and we're going to score this at a quarter inch, and we're going to score it a quarter inch from the opposite end. That's at three and one eighth. Okay, so those are our pieces scored. The top of the mailbox, we're going to work the scores, and the bottom of the mailbox, we're going to work those scores. All right, then we can add some sticky strip to the mailbox piece on those quarter inch tabs that we just created. You could try. Okay, now we're going to peel the adhesive liner off the candy. And you notice I just twisted it around. And we're going to take this mailbox piece and put that quarter inch tab in the sticky strip, roll the mailbox cover over the candy, and then stick that quarter inch tab to the sticky strip. Then we can remove the adhesive 
liner on our cardstock piece and we'll add that to the base of our mailbox right in between those score lines that you've made. Now I'm going to take a glue dot and put it on this back flap of the mailbox. This flap is longer. The one that we're going to close is longer. So you want to put it on the longer flap and close up the mailbox. The front flap is going to stay open. All right, then a little bit of snail adhesive on the back of our designer series paper. And we're going to entirely wrap this mailbox. So starting in the center bottom, we're going to just roll this designer series paper all the way around. And secure that at the bottom. There we go. It's a mailbox, right? It looks like a mailbox. Okay, set that aside. Um, let's do some stamping here. Got basic black and melon mambo. From me to you, right in the center of that scrap. And then my two little hearts right here. Next is some die cutting. I'm going to use that circle that we pulled out from the popcorn box, the heart. Cut that one twice and then this little scallop one from layering circles. I'm going to die cut those and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and I've got my pieces die cut. Now I want to show you one more little trick here. I think that this is worth the cost of admission. I have a piece of one quarter inch by one and a quarter inch uh, basic black cardstock. It's got some repositionable adhesive on the back of it. What I'm going to do for my little flag, I'm going to lay that repositionable adhesive on that cardstock on that piece that's one inch by two inches, and then I'm going to cut along the line. That gives you a nice straight quarter inch wide. stem for your flag. And then to finish that up, because I like things to be straight and just right, I'm going to bring in my trimmer here, lay this little flag in at the three quarter inch line. Okay, I'm going to make sure that it's flat against the guard there. Cutting blade up. I'll hold it steady and cut with the cutting blade until I get to three quarters of an inch. Remove that repositionable adhesive and you get a perfect flag every time. No die for that, but no problem. We got it. All right, so there's your little mailbox flag. I've got my cookie builder punch. Told you you'd see this a lot for Valentine's. I'm just in love with that bitty little heart. It is the perfect way to jazz up any Valentine project. I don't know if you noticed that, but I had cut out a heart for one of the other projects and then put the little negative space centered in one of the circles. When I cut the heart for the project that we're gonna use, look at that, isn't that cute? All right, now I need a little bit of liquid glue. Tiniest little drop on the arrow there, and we'll add this guy. Then some snail. Right in the center here. I have an eighth inch circle punch, handheld circle punch. We're going to just punch a little hole in the top of the tag here. Ah, you moved my heart. It's all askew. All right, there. 
and this eight inches of Baker's twine. Loop it and then put the flag in the loop. Then bring both ends through the hole that you just punched on the tag. We'll tie it to secure. And then make a pretty little bow. Cute, right? Trim the ends. There we go. All right, last up, a little bit of snail on the back of these guys. And then we want to arrange them so that they're off the edge a bit and overlapping each other a bit. Cute little flags. Got a glue dot here. I'm gonna put a glue dot on the flag. You see that? And then I've got some dimensional adhesive and I'm gonna cut a little bit off. Okay, I'm going to adhere my flag to my mailbox, lift my tag, and add a little bit of dimensional to secure the tag. It makes everything a little bit more stable. There it is. So there's our bitty mailbox. All right, so you got these little guys here. Two, three. Okay, you want to see something really cute? Look at that. Aren't they adorable? Okay, these are made with real red cardstock, Sending Love Designer Series paper. And you know, guys, it is celebration. So you should um, consider picking up Sales with Love and Love Notes as a bundle. Throw in the Designer Series paper. And with celebration, $50 purchases receive free celebration products. If you've got any questions about celebration, about this project, if there's anything I can do for you, email me, marissa at kitchentablestamper.com. Oh, and if you haven't seen the Celebration or Occasions catalog, it'd be my pleasure to send you a complimentary copy. Just email me, marissa at kitchentablestamper.com. Thanks for watching.